<laughs> All right, so we're down in the hole. Chris up there, Billy up there. Yeah, yeah, you Billy. And uh, Croc down here, baby. And it is a salt glaze, I think. Pretty sure it's salt glaze. It might be white. I can't tell yet. But I don't know. Hopefully, it's whole. We're about to find out. Pretty deep down there. Yeah, it's down in here. Fancy glass over here at the side of it. Bricks. Oh, bottle. Bottle. What we got? Oh, we got a Frostburg soda. We got a Fred Winter out of Frostburg. Nice little blown in mold. Nice. Soda bottle. Local. Cool. Set that to the side. We're going to keep digging on this crock. It's whole. It's whole and has a handle. It's not a salt glaze, but it is a nice little jug, nonetheless. Yeah. So, just out of that little pocket right there, we got a Frostburg soda and a nice jug. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Back to All right, Billy says he oh, thinks really? he has a big crock. It's broke. Uh, it's broke. But he did just pull up this. Uh, it's a spittoon. Is it broke? It's not broke. No, it? it's whole. Uh, he pulled up this Forney's right here out of Hagerstown, Maryland. Oh, here you go, Chris. And. We pulled out this little blood wine. We got blood wine out of Charleston, <laughs> South Carolina. And then you just seen him hand up this chamber pot, Bennington chamber pot, full of seats. Um, it's definitely whole. He's got a warranted flask over there now coming up. Shut up, sir. Had some kind of big piece of metal in it. There's marble in it. <laughs> Look at there. There's a china marble too. I'm not seeing no paint on it, but definitely a china. Uh, looks like this pit might get a little water down there. After all, some here's some of the marbles right here. I actually got. Hold on a second. Actually, yeah, oh yeah, it's full of seeds. Put your hand out. There's some more. So there's all the marbles. Another one over there. You can see on the ground laying. But yeah, we got a quart ball or a half gallon. Big old half gallon ball mason. Uh, yeah. Billy's still working on it. He's gonna let Chris in here and um Yeah, we're gonna keep pounding it. Get back to you. All right, Chris is excited. He's got something down in the hole here, and he says he thinks it's a druggist. Oh, oh yeah, LN it is an LN Meadows. Let's see her. Yeah, LN Meadows, Meadows Frostburg, Maryland, baby. Yeah. Something else right there. There for a second, I thought it was amber, but it looks amber, doesn't it? Yeah, but uh, else, that's a tough one. Tough druggist bottle. Yeah. What kind of music do you guys listen to? Um, yeah. The old man. Anything. Do you really? <laughs> Slicko. Is that you? Yeah, slick druggist yeah. bottle. Now, if it's old, old country, like I grew up and my grandma and her favorite was Merle Haggard. Yeah? So I can put up with some Merle Haggard. Some Bob Dylan? And uh, yeah, Bob, Dylan. Bob Dylan, she's more of a cool guy. 
Bob Dylan's fucking long-winded boy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, he is. I like his stuff, though. I know there's a time and a place for all of it. There is. That's, that's but true. for me, Bob Dylan falls into the going bad category. Yeah, you know? It's the slow free, stuff. Huh? Uh, no show? Um, I know my grandma listened to him. I wouldn't know the word straight if he came on the radio right now, though. I don't, King, bud. I don't recognize his voice. The really? King of country. Yep, I know. You so you like... No, you so. like like Pearl Jam and no? no? Mm -hmm. What do you no, like? No, I like I like punk rock. Oh really? Like yeah. uh, Henry. like some uh, Venge Sevenfold and stuff like that. No, like the Chats, the new bands with Creed. Be. Oh, you're talking about the older punk rock. Yeah, well, I'm an old man, man. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm Is that a marble right there? The Bobby Lees. If you like punk rock, man, those are the young fuckers. Where? Bobby Lee's. Where, Corey? Right. If you like rock and roll, you should listen to some Australian rock and roll. Really? Ammo and the Sniffers. We just went to see one not that long ago. Classic. And the Chats. Ammo and the Sniffers is like a rock and roll punk rock. I don't like something. The Chats are like pretty much just straight punk rock. And then there's a band called Coffin. We'll get back to you. All right, Chris says he's got a couple bots down here. Little pocket. Oh, yeah. Three in one there. Yeah, slick mid, three in one. All blown, everything blown and mold. So I guess Little. one advantage to being married is you'll have dinner when you get home. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas you won't have shit when you get home. <laughs> so, He's got to hit Burger King. Yeah. That's okay. That's all right, too, though. <laughs> yeah. Especially with that zesty sauce. I fucking love that shit. It is good. I love it. But those, those chicken nuggets are pretty shitty, man. They are, but yeah. they're cheap. Yeah. You can get a lot, lot. Uh, what is it, like 10 bucks for... I probably get a hundred of them. Can't yeah, <laughs> you probably can. What are they? Sixty-nine cents for? It was ten for a dollar forty-nine. Is that what it was? Last time I was there. Yeah, go on. And I got them, and then it just. What that might have been my last time for it, but that's why I got them for the zesty sauce. There's four came out there. But, all right, guys. We'll okay, so we got to get Chris out of the hole here. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh. oh. There we go. So we got like a, uh, I don't know, six and a half, close to seven foot hole here. And it is, can't turn these around because I can't figure out how to do it, but I don't know if you can see in there, but all wood walls, perfect square, um, six and a half, seven foot deep. But some decent stuff came out. We got some Frostburg druggists, um, Croc, <laughs> Spittoon, <laughs> but yeah soda bottles we, we did good we did all right um went back to about 1890s definitely was dipped but we probably pulled 30 bottles or so out um we have one more pit to dig we're gonna go to the store and we're gonna hydrate get some refreshments we'll and we will be back we're in Oh, he's got the wrist and stuff, doesn't he? So we dug an early 1860s med, a Roostens and Clark, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Um, looked to be pawn with super early lip. Uh, we're pulling out, you know, earlier pottery, the thick stuff. You know, they took a lot of the pieces. Your pottery's real thick like that. It's usually older when you get them thick plates, base stamps and whatnot. Oh, you but, got that? What are you doing over there? <laughs> but, but anyways, uh, this is a round. We're in a round wood liner, which is pretty strange. We Narrow. thought it was stone at first. There is some stone up against the wall. Maybe they reused it, took it out, and put it in another pit. I don't know. But uh, we weren't getting anything for the longest time. We went down on this one side first. We had to bust through a little bit of concrete over here, you can see. So, you know, we can't fit in the hole very good. And uh, once we started pulling that 60s era looking stuff, you know, I felt some pieces of glass down here and sure enough here's a whole bottle there's the first whole bottle out of this hole and it looks 
Nice. Yeah, it's, it's sticking up right here. I pried it up with the shovel. I know. I already know it's a schnapps or a bitters. And Corey, what color this is town's it? notorious for schnapps. So it's amber. SCA. <laughs> no SCA in color in this hole. None. Zilch. We dig the old stuff, baby. Can Not I get a thumbs up? Oh yeah. It's old. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's a little tiny Adolfo's too. It's wee small. Good night. I think it's tiny. Look at all the uh those would have been um vent holes when they were blowing the bottle. Real nice drippy lip. I need a drip on that. Yes, sir. I want to get down in there, huh? Get in there, Billy. Here, get a still shot. You can go ahead and stop it. All right, so we actually left uh, some privy permissions behind today, and we headed out to a undisclosed location. Um, some epic bottles have come from here, and uh, we're just now finishing it up. Uh, this will probably be the last dig here, but We've already got some bots coming out. Look at this, blown in mold, Phoenix brand. Nice Landman soda out of Somerset, PA. Nice little town. Heck yeah. But blown in mold. This dump does produce produce Hutchison's. Chris with me. We're pulling them. Yep, we're getting them. We're doing it. And uh, I'm gonna let Chris in the hole here. This is this will probably be the most productive dump Chris has dug yet. This is a little honey hole that uh, I'd been saving. And we do have a massive, huge boulder right here. We're going to try to work it out eventually because this clay seems to not want to hold sometimes. And we don't want that coming down on us. But you can see down here where that rust is starting, that's your good layer. Up here, you got a little 1950s, 60s layer. Um, as soon as you get through that clay cap, you can see right there. Start hitting good bottles, but I'm gonna let Chris in the hole and see what comes out. All right, so Chris has got a soda down in the hole. Maybe two. Yeah, you might have two. I think it's another one of those little ones. One of them British. Yeah, yeah it was a broken British bottle. Oh yeah, see how that clay is? <laughs> It'll get you. It's the only reason why I'm worried about that rock. Well, that's a big old. What is that? What? That's a uh, Virginia Dare. They come out of here looking real nice too. Super bubbled up. Yes, sir. Big old Virginia Dare. They're blowing in mold out of here too. Garrett. They have like a pry top on them, but they're, uh, they're blown. Heck yeah, big old guy too. Full water, clean to the brim. Yep, blown in mold. Outstanding. And then Chris pulled out this big Benicia, all rainbowed up wine bottle. Piece of a piece of Myersdale brewing. All right, guys. Oh, well, you got you got something else, yeah. Myersdale Brewing, baby. Yeah. Cumberland. Oh, is it a Cumberland? Yeah. Wow, it's blown though, isn't it? Looks yeah, to me. It, it might not be. Yeah. I think it's early machine. It is machine. Lady's leg. Just missed being told. Yep. Cumberland beer. Yep, he's still getting down in that layer. Like I said, it's about three foot thick and it will be loaded with bottles. Oh. Is that a teal one? Yeah. Uh oh. We got a teal little wine bottle. These things are real cool looking. 
Yes, sir. It's teal, baby. Hold that up to the sun once. <laughs> Look at the color of those things. They're just ridiculous. Awesome. All right. We'll get back to you. Chris says he thinks he just pulled up a green druggist. This is this could be epic. Oh gosh, I can see it. The raw oh. nest bit. Oh my gosh, Chris. The Robert Nesbitt Rice and Company out of Chicago. Wow. It's a good bottle. Wow, friends. <laughs> what a bottle. That's awesome. Wow. That's killer, man. The rain brought it. I can tell you that I've never dug one. I've seen them. Wow. What a bot. That's awesome, man. Oh, yeah. So after digging like 8,000 slicks, um, finally just got down this muddy layer and there's a druggist here in Michigan, definitely not a local one. J.H. Westendorf says the weather flag druggist. That is cool. Never Mount Clemens, that. Michigan. Nope, I ain't never seen that, never heard of it. Wow, what a cool druggist bottle. We are at a railroad dump, so it's hard to tell what we're going to pull out of here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull one more bottle and let Chris back in the hole. Corey says he's got a pocket of bottles. So guys, this dump's notorious for pockets. And when you get into one, they're usually real good to you. That looks like soda or beer. This one, druggist, maybe. Flask. Come on, baby, come on. Nothing. Okay, I got a amber beer right here. Oh, it looks like a quart, maybe. It might be broken. Nah, it's one of them little... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Malt liquor. Yep. A blown and mold, though. And right here, it's not ready. We'll poke a little bit off this top. Broken crocs and everything back in there. Oh, here's a ball. Oh, it's broken. The broken beer. This could be the druggest. Yeah, weird shape. Uh, it's got a hole in the bottom of it. It's just a pickle. That's a beer. That's an awkward one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can't even get past through the layer, guys, because I'm trying to get this other bottle out. I'm hitting other bottles. <laughs> if that's a bottle, I'll leave that in there for you. Oh, look there. That's above the... Oh, gosh. Yes. Cumberland Brewing? Yeah, it is. Cumberland Brewing. All right, let's see what this awkward guy is. What is this? Slick? It is the blown and mold AB Company Slick, which we don't dig too many slick beers around here like that. But uh, we'll go ahead and let Chris back in the hole. Looks like it's getting pretty productive that way, and we're getting glass way down in too. So we're gonna get back to you. All right, so Chris is down in the hole, and he might have a hutch down here. It's very skinny looking has a hutch body to it, I think. Hard legs. And that tough stuff, isn't yeah. it? Oh yeah. Your bottle squeaks. 
It's either gonna be a hutch or a PA soda of some sort. I mean, I guess it could be Michigan. We're pulling Michigan stuff out, which is strange. Feels cold. Oh yeah, come on, be a hutch. Oh, it's a hutch, baby. Oh my gosh, Chris. What is the Myersdale Bowling Works? Parkersburg. Oh man, you got a West Virginia yes, hutch sir. this guy did. Yeah. Oh man, Chris is killing it today. Oh, Chris. Oh yeah. What a bottle. Nice, man. First hutch out of the That's awesome. Yep, Ed Scott out of Parkersburg, West Virginia. He said we were almost to the hutches, didn't you? Yep. Look at that. Parkersburg, West Virginia, beautiful hutch. Says he's got something else down there. A big old bunch of gunk. Look, that's coming back. We got another hutch. Little condiment bottle. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, something else. Uh oh, he's in a pocket. Ketchup. And sauce bottles. <laughs> Still got something showing? I think it's gonna be it for that pocket. The big rust chunks coming out, but clean some of this out. Yeah, we'll get back to you. What a pull! What you got down there? <laughs> <laughs> got a hutch, baby. Check it out, number two hutch, number two. Hutch number two. Let's see if I can get it out good. Oh, it looks good, baby. Oh, come on, come on, be nice to me. Take this little piece of water. We're gonna do this bad boy right up ahead of here. With the rest of that amber bottle. He's injured, as you can see. Blood and <laughs> Not blood and sweat in this hole. Blood. Come on, baby. Tears of joy. Come on, baby. What is it? A Hoster Bowling Works Myersdale PA, baby. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Get it, That's baby. Awesome. Yeah, look at my friend. <laughs> Pumped up. Yeah. All right. I'm pulling one more. Corey's been giving her hell on this bottle. Like I've been really working at her. She does not want to come out of the hole. <laughs> messy yeah i'm gonna have to get this one first there's just no other way around it it's a challenge so if i can tell yeah a little blown in mold worcestershire sauce now for the what looks like a soda bottle fellas and ladies and gentlemen we may have another hut oh gosh i think it is <laughs> oh, it's broke. You no. gotta be kidding me. Eh, there might be another one behind it, though. You can get that on the big job. It was a... Oh, another hotch. It was a... The, the Cleveland...
consolidated bottling works at Cleveland, Ohio, Hutchison Soda. It's broken. It's okay because I think there's one right behind it. <clears throat> yes, sir, there is. Oh, there might be a pocket of hutches down here. Oh, I'll let you in after I pull this one. It's just... I, I'm like... it. Whatever energy I have left, I don't know where it's coming from. From pulling the hutches. We dug all day yesterday, this all day today. It's giving us momentum, I'm telling you. I think it's <laughs> 90 some degrees out. High, high humidity. It's actually, you know, the sun went away. It's about to thunderstorm. We already got and, rained on once. And, uh, yeah, we wouldn't mind the rain right now. We don't want struck by lightning or anything. <laughs> but we might even have to run down to the stream real quick and jump in the water because we are a mess. We don't even get this dirty when we dig privies. I'm trying to get under this, but I'm telling you, it's what what strength we had before <laughs> we definitely don't have now. It's all heavy. Mm -hmm. Heavy dirt. This dump is no joke. It is another hutch. We can take his top off to get to it. What is that? <laughs> oh. There's another bottle right here going down to it. I don't know if it's whole. It's a sauce. And it's a cup or something. Yeah, cup. It's pretty far down in. It's it's like down in that mud. I can see some more of it showing here. It's moving. There's something underneath it too. A rock or something. She's moving. Here we go. Oh, it's full. It's whole. Oh gosh, what do we got this time? Another, another hoster or hostler, bottling works out of Myersdale, PA. And let me tell you guys, these are not easy to find. These are tough soda bottles out of a small little coal mine in town. Let's get and uh, I'm like Chris in the hole because there might be a couple more. We're onto a what seems like a little pocket of them, so. Yeah, we'll get back to you. Literally just let Chris back in the hole and he has a hutch. <laughs> Man, this is this is good times. This is good times, guys. Oh yeah, Oh my gosh, what is it? Another hot cost better. Is it? Yes. Sir. Nice. Oh. oh my gosh, man. Look at this. It's freaking insane, back back. guys. Back to back. To back. Hutches. <laughs> Woo! It's been a good day. Yes, it has, buddy. We worked for them. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Gosh, what a hole. I'm talking, guys, like, top of this hole. All the mud sticks to your shovel. Heavy. Is right there. <laughs> so, you're talking. We're down, in we're down about 10, at least 10 feet. And it's sloppy down there, and it's it's rough digging. It's hard. But, you know, this car pal is loaded with bottles. There's flies everywhere because this mud really stinks. Yeah. And they're just all over us. But uh, this little green lantern would have been cool. little green lamp. That would have been real neat. But, uh, my goodness, we're, we're killing it today, guys. There's <laughs> bottles everywhere. All right, see you back. All right, Chris, 
has a mason jar down here. He had to work for it. He had to work for that thing too, and you know how thin these things are, so. Patented 1850U. Yeah, CFJ company. Yeah. Nice Mason CFJ patent, November 30th, 1858, with the skinny embossing. Yes, sir. And it's it looks real nice. Clean right and some rocks, too. I can't believe it wasn't broke. Oh, yeah, we're killing it, though. Heck, yeah. yeah. We'll get back to this. All right, so that's going to be it. Chris is here cleaning off some of the hutches. And we did. We did pretty good. Epic. And I don't know if you guys saw this, but I think I already showed it, but the little rice and bottle out of Philly. Green, baby. But... We did pretty good. Chris okay. is real happy. Oh, I'm thrilled. Two hutches in one day. That's pretty daggone epic. Four all together. And uh, yeah, you'll uh, see him on cleanup. That's a wrap.